Sure, there are some great places to eat in other states like Whataburger, In-N-Out, and Zaxby's, but Akron's got some of the best gems. Akron's first and probably most popular food joint is Swenson's. If you love fast, greasy, customizable food, then you are gonna absolutely love this place. Swenson's is a drive-in fast food restaurant that opened up in 1934 on South Hawkins Avenue under the ownership of Wesley T. Swenson. Since that first location, they have now expanded, as of 2022, up to 18 locations. Their menu highlights the famous Galley Boy, which is called the America's Best Cheeseburger. The Galley Boy contains two hamburger patties, cheese, and two special sauces. If you haven't had it before, I highly recommend giving it a try. It is, hands down, my favorite thing on the menu. What's cool about Swenson's is that they have a ton of secret menu items that you can customize yourself. Some of the customizations can get really wild, but a simple one is just adding Cajun seasoning to your fries or your onion rings, and it's delicious. Moving on to our next contestant in the ring is Dilly's. They put up a good fight against Swenson's, and some may argue that it's even better than Swenson's. Dilly's currently has two locations, one's in Akron, and then the other one is also located in Coggle Falls. Dilly's is also known for their iconic burger, which is called the Dilly Burger, and that also includes two of their specialty sauces. Dilly's also gives you the opportunity to customize your items when you order off the menu here, even though I personally have not done this as much as I do at Swenson's, but there is still the option to do it. Now, before I go on to the final restaurant, I wanna talk really quick about what made Dilly's unique and that is its location. It sits right across the street from the Akron Fulton Airport, and you used to watch all the private planes come in, land, and take off while you ate. You also had a great view of the old University of Akron Rubber Bowl, which unfortunately now sits vacant, and the Derby Downs, which is also another staple of Akron. There's one more thing that made the location of this place great, but I'm gonna save that for the end as the cherry on top. Now, the final food spot that I wanna hit on here in Akron is the hamburger station. Family packs, lemonade, great sides, and tons of onion is one of the things that make this place phenomenal and you have to give it a try if you're not familiar with it already. While it may not be for everyone, it is a great spot if you want some quick greasy food. Hamburger Station first opened its doors on Main Street in downtown Akron in 1975. They now currently have two locations here in Akron. While the previous two spots had a lot of customizations that you could do to their food, Hamburger Station sticks true to its roots and just keeps a nice simple hamburger. Their burgers consist of fresh beef on a freshly baked bun with pickles, onions, lots of them, and mustard. Their fresh cut fries and their fresh popped onion rings are worth noting as well. They accompany their burgers extremely well. But I also want to give a shout out to something that not a lot of people have given a shot when they go there, and that is their wings, and they are one of my favorites. Next time you visit this place, get an order of their original wings, Get make sure you get the original hot sauce, and enjoy. While you enjoy all this delicious food, get one of their fresh squeezed lemonades to wash it all down. Now I wanna hop back really quick to what made the location of Dilly's a great spot. Once you get done eating there, you can skip their milkshakes or any other desserts because right down the street is a much better option. And for those of you that are already from the Akron area, more specifically Ellet, you already know the exact place that I'm talking about, and that is Strickland's. If you're an ice cream lover, especially soft serve, you're gonna wanna stop by and give this place a shot. Their soft serve ice cream is phenomenal as it is, but if you like to mix it up and have a little bit more stuff in there, they have plenty of other options as far as blizzards, twisters, banana splits, you name it, they got it. While their ice cream flavors are kept pretty limited, they do a flavor of the day, which highlights two different flavors. People watch their calendars all the time to see when their favorite flavor is gonna come back around. So if you see your favorite flavor coming up on their calendar, make sure you get out and get it because they only last for about two to three days. Well guys, I hope I was able to introduce you to a few new places that you can try next time you're in Akron. And for some of you that maybe grew up here eating at these places, hopefully I brought back some good memories. If you have a favorite customization at Dilly's or Swenson's or maybe just a favorite ice cream flavor at Strickland's, drop it down in the comments below. I wanna know what your favorite is. For me at Strickland's, my go-to is banana and grape every time they got it. By the way, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can follow along for more content seeing what Northeast Ohio has to offer. Thanks for checking in. I'm Joe Tupta, your local realtor, and thanks for following another episode of Give and Grow.